Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys enjoy day two of our Charleston getaway. We're going to just jump right into the video, so I hope you enjoy. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. If you're new here, please hit subscribe, hit that bell notification, and give me a thumbs up. I'm Leslie. I am the Farming Pastor's Wife. I normally do videos on cooking or food, as you'll see in these next few videos, <laughs> but I do all kinds of videos, so it's kind of a lifestyle video um, channel. So please consider subscribing if you haven't done so. Now on to the video. Hey guys, we're actually in the city market. We got an early start this morning. We had a, a brief meeting and we haven't really had anything to eat but we wanted to come through the market while it was nice and busy so that's where we're at what all have you seen so far i've looked at some cool jewelry and the baskets i really want a basket but they're a lot pricier than i realized yep. they're very expensive that 11 that elephant ear basket was 1250 bucks yeah and it's the one that's got the scallops around the back and around the sides yeah Okay, everybody, I found a hat that I like, and I need your opinion. What do you, what do you think? think? She look all Charleston in her little dress and her hat. What do you think? Okay, everybody, I've heard about this place called Callie's Hot Little Biscuits, and we have found one of the locations. I think this is, but we're in the market, and look right here. There we go. This is Callie's Hot Little Biscuit. And look at the line. And the line is way back there. So we're gonna jump in line. But we're gonna get in line and we're gonna get us a Callie's Hot Little Biscuit. Okay, Bryant's gonna get the sausage, egg, and pimento cheese biscuit. I'm gonna get the three for six. It's a three small sampler. I think I'm gonna do the buttermilk, the country ham, and the blackberry. And what am I doing? The sausage, egg, and pimento cheese. All right, here we go. Waiting in the line. Okay, everybody, here's Bryant's. He got the sausage, egg, and pimento cheese. Show that pimento cheese. I can't. <laughs> See that pimento cheese on there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. And let's look Charleston at is known for its pimento cheese. And I got a buttermilk. Look at all that butter right there. Mm. Oh my goodness. Um, That's the shortbread? No, I can't. It's supposed to be country ham. They forgot my country ham. They forgot the country ham. But anyway, or maybe they didn't. Maybe that's what that is. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to give them a try. try. It's okay. All right, here we go. Go back. We've already blessed it. We're ready to go. Good. Good. Try the other one. What is that one? This is the buttermilk, I think. <laughs> I'm saving the best for last. Which is what? Blackberry. Blackberry. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Which one's your favorite? Mine. <laughs> <laughs> She's so funny. All right. It's really good though. Try mine. Mm -mm, I'm not trying yours. You, you try, try mine. Yours. All yep. right. I'll I'm get you. I'm gonna try mine. All right. Here we go. It's a jalapeno pimento cheese, also. Okay. So it's got a little spice to it. I gotta get all of that egg. Hang on. Okay. We got sausage, egg, pimento cheese. It is a jalapeno pimento cheese. I've been dipping that out of the bottom of here. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> you had to work to get that in there. Good. That's a good combination. Is that a good combination? I'll give it a 10 out of 10. All right. Really good. Very good. All right, so let me give you my take on Callie's Hot Little Biscuit. Bryant's was outstanding. He gave it a 10 out of 10. 
He said it was delicious. Really good, really good. The pimento cheese was delicious. Wasn't too spicy. Perfect. Perfection. His was perfection. Now, mine on the other hand was very dry. And I think what happened is, is either because they're small and I ordered the small ones or maybe they make them ahead of time. I, I don't know what happened, but mine were super dry. Plus one of mine was not right. It wasn't the country ham biscuits. So, um, I don't know, but his was great. And so it's worth trying. It's worth trying because it's it's well known here people love it here just don't get the small ones especially if you go to the marketplace i'm sure there's another restaurant here somewhere but um tomorrow i think i'm gonna try the bacon and tomato and the blt one the BLT we're going one. back we might and the so that's how much he uh, liked it was it the lemon basil arugula arugula i don't know i think that's What's on the be up to? Yep, I got some crazy hair going on. All right, we'll see you. We are going to our next thing we're going to do, and we're taking you with us. So come on, let's go. Brian is determined to find me a basket. I'm looking for the best price. We just ran across right here at the corner of Brawl and, and Meeting. A meeting. We've ran across um, some non some some vendors that aren't in the normal uh, marketplace. And so I'm just I'm just looking to see if we can uh, find some better. Says, you no, know, having to pull it up is a lot. It's oh, a lot. So how long, how long you been doing now. this? I've been doing this since I was five years old. Oh, bless your heart. Was you yes. born here in Charleston? Born right here and raised in Charleston. Okay. Yes. I was taught when I was five, but then I also learned how to fully make a basket when I was like ten years old. Yeah. Ten, about ten years old, I made a basket. That now this good. comes from the Gola Geechee yes. uh, culture. Yes. And Go is Gola the language? Gola is the language. And Geechee is the culture. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is so this, neat. This is one of the brochures that we have that speaks about. Oh wow. I got, I got it. it. I got it. Oh, it speaks about a lot. It tells you a lot about the basket here. You can open it Thank and you. read it. Mount Pleasant. So it's across the bridge. Mm-hmm. It tells you a lot about the baskets and how to treat it and how to take care of it. And then the history of the basket. You have it all right there. She is fixing a great big one. Yeah, this is called the widow basket, the rice fanny basket. Because the South is known for the rice. Yes. It would go out and winnow the rice, fan it up in the air. Ah. And leave the rice in the basket. So this is what they would fan it with or? Yes. yes oh, yes. wow. Look here. Two men with winnow it, fan it up in the mm -hmm. This would be used in the rice fields. Yes. They were used at the clean the rice. And this are in time you can use it for headboard, tabletop. Oh yeah. It's gorgeous. Because in have uh, things for their own personal use. Right. So design it here. And you said this came from West Africa? West Africa. West Sarah Africa. Sarah Ceylon. The hand craftsmanship. Only the man were the one weaving the basket when it started out. Then they started teaching wives and children how to weave the basket. Wow. Mm -hmm. To so, make their own personal um, stuff. We are driving down into Boone Hall Plantation. It is still an actual working plantation. I believe that's strawberries, strawberries out there. Part of, if you remember the mini series, if you remember the mini series North and South, I believe some of it was filmed here. It looks like they've just tilled this ground for planting of something. Not sure what, but um, it's still an active working. It farm. is an active working farm. So we're going to go tour this and learn about some history and some of the dark history. I believe we'll we'll, we'll hear about some of the dark history of Charleston. Um, where slavery was was 
this was a main place of slavery, Charleston. A lot of the slaves came over from Africa. A lot of the ones that were went throughout the United States came into America through Charleston. So there, there is some sad history here. And um, so we're gonna see what we can learn and maybe I can share it with you guys. Okay. Is this not the absolute most beautiful drive in? Oh my goodness. Slumber skies and hollow tempers often succeed a bright sunshine in the land of perfect day. When the mist has rolled away, and we'll understand it better by and by. By and by, we are often best alone. All the things that life demand Want of shelter and of food First in hills and barren land We are trusted in the Lord And are called unto His words We will understand it better By and by By and by Oh, when the morning comes, when all the saints of God are gathered at home, we will tell that story, how we overcome, and we'll understand it better by and by. Well is the word that we are used when we speak in reference to our language, our food, and our culture. A Gullah person is an African American that live on the seacoast island of South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. However, a lot of Gullah people, they migrated up north during the Great Migration. Especially here in South Carolina, they had the Jim Crow law. Hey everybody, this place is absolutely beautiful. But I want you to look over here. There appears to be a wedding going to take place pretty soon. We asked a worker here how much the venue was to have a wedding here, and she thinks it's around 25000 She wasn't completely sure, but wow. And they're setting chairs up. We'll, we'll get it in a moment. See the arbor right there with all the roses and stuff like that? In the front yard, there's the house right there, but in the front yard, they're setting up the chairs right now for the wedding. And this is probably going to be the reception I area. I think that's the reception area. So, so beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see the water back there, but the tour guide just told us that it was a scene in the notebook where she brings him here, then they go out in the rowboat and he jumps in the water. That's where it was filmed. Pull up and try to get parallel to him. And when we, when we stop, when we stop, it'll be cool for y'all to stand up. I don't know if you guys can see, but there is an alligator. Y'all can stand up now and get a good look or get a picture. I've lost it. That's one of the bigger ones out here. That's not the biggest one. There, but that's there he one is. Of the bigger ones. <laughs> to overhang the water. The reason is the alligators hang around and the alligators keep predators away from that would go up and want to rob the nest like raccoons we're actually on king street where like some of your upper scale stores are located so we're just gonna walk in some and act like we're <laughs> we belong what'd you get yeah well okay. we had a little miscommunication when we left home I thought Leslie was packing me a pair of dress shoes. She thought I was getting me a pair of dress shoes. Because one of the places we're going to eat tomorrow night, Hank's, is business casual. And so I had to come get me some 
business casual shoes because all I have is tennis shoes. And it doesn't match my clothes. So, but anyway, <laughs> so we had to run in here real quick, get some shoes, and so we're set now for supper tomorrow night. Very good. Okay, everybody, this area we're driving down is one of the most photographed areas in Charleston. It is called Rainbow Row, where all the houses are painted uh, a pastel color. I hear there was one lady who really fought to, to get this done, and she's not mentioned very much because um, I, I don't know why. But anyway, this is definitely one of the most famous places here in Charleston as far as the architecture, and just it's called Rainbow Row. Hey everybody, we're going to try this restaurant tonight. It's Fleet Landing. We're actually on the water. It's really crowded and we don't have reservations, so we'll just see. Here it's pretty good. Okay everyone, I had the lump crab meat bruschetta with the balsamic glaze, tomatoes, and you know, your normal uh, baguette type bread. Bryant had the yellowfin tuna, mashed potatoes, and collard greens with a lemon shallot sauce. All right, everyone. So I thought I would give you a quick, um, my thoughts on Fleet Landing where we ate supper tonight. Um, I was super excited that we did not have reservations. Um, they, they seated us fairly quickly and um, you got the yellow fin tuna. And it was good collard greens, mm -hmm. and mashed potatoes. Yep. And I got, I ordered an appetizer as my meal, and I ordered lump crab bruschetta, topped bruschetta. And um, so, to, what did you think of your meal? My meal was good. Um, and it was served with uh, like a lemon dill butter glazing. Shallot sauce. Shallot mm -hmm. sauce. And my mom was really good. The, the the tuna steak was really thick. It was about oh my like goodness, that. that was probably three inches and mm -hmm. it was, yeah. I mean, it was huge. Really good. Not terribly pricey, 30 bucks for the entree. I was pleased with that, so and good, good meal. I got the bruschetta. Y'all think I'm going to complain all the time, and I really don't. But um, there, there was no crab, crab meat, meat no crab on meat. my bruschetta. It was nothing but bread and a little bit of pesto and some tomatoes and balsamic and that was it the lady beside us ordered the same thing and she had crab meat just falling off of hers <laughs> and so and i uh, didn't see that because i had gotten up and went to the restroom mm -hmm. she had, she saw mine and ordered it and i had gone to the restroom and bryant mentioned to the waiter he says Look, they have crab meat, but she didn't get crab. And he goes, so, he goes. I I see that. It was like he had already noticed it, so he took it completely off my yeah. bill. I mean, that was not even what we were asking yeah, for. We, we didn't ask for that, but he did it. He did it, and so, so the they made it right. The customer service was great. Customer thing. service was top notch. Yeah, so I would recommend Fleet Landing. Yeah, it was go, very go good. The, the another lady beside us. It was us. cold though, because every it's kind of open air. Even on the inside, when you're sitting down. There's so many open areas that you're getting a... It was cold because you're getting the breeze from the ocean. Yeah. But the lady beside us, when we first got there, she had the pan-seared scallops. They looked amazing. They looked so good. They yep. looked amazing. Yep. So, anyway, I just wanted to give my thoughts on that because I, I we, there was music and I couldn't film really good in there. So, yep. anyway, all right. So, uh, I'll come back on and say goodbye in just a minute. That's a wrap. Well, everybody, tonight is over. It is our, the end of day two here in Charleston, and I am exhausted. I am exhausted, and my back hurts so bad, so I'm going to bed, and I will see you guys in the morning because we have another big day tomorrow. Remember, I have a surprise coming tomorrow that I'm super excited about, so I will see you guys tomorrow or the next video, so stay tuned. There's more to come. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.